Good afternoon and welcome to the taster session for um, the ACM, ACM5 conference to be hosted by the Bristol Composites Institute at the University of Bristol and the National Composite Centre in the UK. My name is Kevin Potter. And until I retired, I was the NCC uh, Professor in Complex Manufacture in the University of Bristol. I'll be chairing this session um, and for the physical ACM5 event we will be hosting in 2022. And I hope to see as many of you as possible there. I'd like to say just a very few words in the way of theme setting before we move on to the first presentation. I really have to start by taking a moment to, to pay tribute to Suwang Van Hoa and his team from Concordia University, who initiated the series of conferences in 2013, followed by a very successful event in 7, 15, 17 and 19, all at Concordia. And then they took the, the move to open up the conference series and put it onto the road internationally, which is why we're here today. I was very privileged to be invited to speak at the first event and I've sent many of my students to subsequent events, as it's really been the best place to hear about the latest developments in the field from both academic and industrial perspectives. We hope to continue the success of the conference series and take it now to a, <clears throat> a wider audience. For this event, we, we had more than 500 people registered from 38 different countries around the world. So we know alphabetically from Algeria to the United States and geographically from Brazil to Japan. So this sort of highly internationalized event can only be positive in bringing together the composite community. I would like to thank you all for your attendance. Now, I retired from my university post in 2019, but I haven't retired from working on composite manufacture. And I'd see no real immediate likelihood of that as I'm involved with two, currently involved with two spin-out companies coming out of the University of Bristol. One developing machinery and one developing materials both intended to enable improved automation of complex manufacture. Now, I, I personally started work on complex manufacture in 1974, when it's really likely that the majority of today's audience weren't actually born. But even that date is a few years later than the start of automated composites. The um, 50th anniversary of the granting of the first patent for a recognizable automated tape laying machine was actually granted uh, just over a week ago on the 6th of April 1971. We should also remember that the computer systems we rely on so heavily today barely existed at all at the start of this journey. More than 40 years ago, I published the outputs of a computer drape model, but without a graphical user interface, the drape model was essentially useless, just you know, a, bun a bunch of points. So I don't think it's exaggeration, really, to put the computing power at the heart of much of today's advances in complex manufacture and complex automation. But equally, we have to have the insights from experimental research and from industrial practice to complete the picture. So we're 50 years into the journey of complex automation. Great strides have been made in many areas. Uh, but there's still a large number of challenges. And what I think we're aiming to do this afternoon and tomorrow is to both celebrate the successes to date and take a look into the future to identify routes forward by which the successes can be accelerated. We have carefully selected the speakers for this event to cover both academic and industrial visions across a range of industries. And I'm delighted to be able to give them a platform to share their understanding with this audience. So today we have a presentation from Nick Warrior of Nottingham University, Sue Partridge of Airbus, and Sue Ang Van Hoa of Concordia University. And tomorrow we'll hear from John Kruskort of LA Winpar and Malin Okama of KTH plus a panel discussion. And the discussion will be on the next 10 years in complex automation, aiming to provide a balance of industry and academic views. I don't intend to say any more now, I'll just move on to introduce our first speaker. 